and steak tacos. But before I season it and let it marinate, I'm gonna put some holes in it to tenderize it. Now, with the marinade, garlic, I'm also going to put some oil on my steak. Oh, that was a little much, but that's okay. I'm going to season it with some salt, onion powder, garlic salt. ground red pepper plastic wrap this and then put it in the fridge steak number one by the way i cooked it on like medium high heat this one is not for the tacos that's just we're making tacos yes this tacos steak number two this one's going on the taco right. and so is this one Now what we're gonna do? What do I need? There's garlic. It'll help season. Gonna take some hot butter, put it on the top. Butter basting. Wrapping. After four, or five minutes, you should flip them. You flip them. Can I flip one? Yeah. So grab it. Don't throw it. And Whoa. Look, all right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be a baby about it because um. Thank you. All right. Here goes nothing. Yeah, do with that one. What? Do with that one. Oh my God, that looks so good. It's been nice and brown. Yep. All right. Here goes nothing. Oh my god, that looks yep. so good. I'm moving. I might eat that so good. It would be so gross. Okay. While your steak is resting, I'm going to toast up my tortillas a little bit. Not too much because you still want it to be a little soft, but I'm going to toast it up just a little. Now I'm going to assemble my tacos. I'm gonna take a couple slices. It looks a little overcooked, but trust me, it's good because we hole punched. Because because we punched it, it's gonna be good. A lot of what do you call it? What do you call it? Some cheese. And I'm just gonna put a couple pieces of lettuce. All right, now we're gonna be trying it. never tried steak like this and I love it. The steak is very juicy and tender. The cheese adds on to it almost like a steak and cheese sub. Yeah, I like it like this. It's really good. 
I like your Nine out of ten. Down ten. I love this.